Hey, 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 how's everybody doing out there? It's your boy from Brooklyn, Chef Shannon Ambrosio, just saying, it's Sunday. It's time for the Everything and Nothing podcast. Now, this is a live broadcast, folks, so I'm going to make sure that we keep this thing as fluid as we possibly can. <laughs> I'm trying to get all kinds of things worked out here, but... It's a wonderful Sunday. The weather's been great so far. It's been, you know, we've had quite a um, heat wave so far, even here, right? So in this, in my neck of the woods out here, um, the the weather's just been crazy hot, like crazy hot, 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 you know, that, that song, you know, summer in the city. But uh, it's been true. It's been hot. It's been humid. It's, yesterday was out on the scoot and it felt like I was in a hairdryer, right? It was that hot. So let's see. Let's go over here. How's everybody doing there? I still can't. You know, here's my thing. So I eventually will get at some point a better confidence monitor so I can read a lot more of the comments. I mean, I could read some of them here, but I have to get I have to set this up differently. And I got to figure out a way to do that where I can have just the comments from the YouTube channel. Um come in a little bit bigger so I can read them my old eyes I think that's the problem right there if you ask me um but I'll get that figured out eventually so how's everybody doing and how was your weekend let's go over here and see if we're all good so have we been outside doing anything has it just been too hot during the day you know for me I mean it was ridiculous I was out on a motorcycle yesterday and and it really was just hot just hot and, uh, and, uh, and that's, <laughs> I love this, right? Every time I tune into the YouTube, they're like, Hey, can you take it, uh, a survey for us? I'm like, what? <laughs> but let me just turn the sound off on this, but I can read them better here, right? A little bit better with the, uh, with the phone in front of me and I have to put on the clock hands for a minute, right? So how does this look? Is the top of my head cut off too much? What do you think? Do we do we need to fix that? What do you think out there? How's everybody doing? Thomas, Alicia, Cece, Gina, Sandra. So how does that look out there? Is it cutting the top of my head? Or should I should I should pan out a little bit? Hold on, let me fix this. <laughs> you know, that's the wonderful thing about having having this idea of doing this myself is that now I can go over there and fix it. Hold on. going to be a little bit better what do you think yeah 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 oh yeah no no that's that's more better yeah i like that that's good right there i like that what do you think just let me know throw it down in the comments below right? <laughs> so this is another everything and nothing podcast and you know how it works i'm gonna go through the gamut this is brought to you by the enn studios the everything and nothing studios right here in this place <laughs> <laughs> in this place right here and please listen to me if you are not already make sure you subscribe to my youtube channel all right because you want to know what's going on so then you know what happens after you're done subscribing you're gonna get your bell rung so you're gonna get your bell rung right over here with your boy from brooklyn chef shannon and Brazil. so you get notified next time i put a video up or my live stream on sundays the everything and nothing podcast that's what's going on so make sure you do that, okay? All my social medias, you know, it's just they're in the links. There's a li bunch of links below in the description down there. There's links to all the social medias. Just go over there, click them, follow, friend, whatever you want to do over there. Just, just, just go over there, check it out. All right. And of course, if you, <laughs> I gotta move this thing. I feel like I'm all ducking. <laughs> <laughs> I said I was going to do that before this one, but I don't think I got around to it, as you can tell right there. <laughs> so go over there and share. Listen, if you may think uh, this may be helpful, insightful, insightful, totally hilarious, or, what, or, or any of those thereof, just make sure you're sharing this, right? Because sharing is caring, and caring's not just somebody I know from Brooklyn, all right? 
And you got any questions and comments, just leave them below, right? There, you know, there's a lot of room. They let you type a bunch of characters in there. So leave a question. Ask me a question or leave me a comment. Tell me, tell me, hey. Oh, hell no. Yeah, you could mention that a few times. <laughs> you can even see like. My God, are you still talking? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My yes, God, I... are you still talking? And listen to me, most of all, folks, if you really like this. <laughs> right? Throw the thumbs up there. We want to make sure that everybody gets a thumbs up, right? Even if you just pass them by and you're like, hey, and then just throw the thumbs up. And then everybody's happy, right? We don't have to worry about nothing. But that's what's going on, folks. So I had the pleasure right yesterday i posted some stuff or whatever and i had the, the pleasure of actually going out to a buddy of mine the two brothers the broom brothers jeff and tim it's actually tim and jeff tim's the older one and uh another one, a mutual friend ed or dj pumpkin as you may know him, my buddy he you know he's like hey you going to the party i was like yes yeah, matter of fact i am so he's like yo i'm riding i said oh we'll ride we'd stop by the house we get on the scoots and there we go and what's funny is, um, we you know we're basically childhood friends. We know each other that long, so we lived in this. We all lived in the projects together, and Ed lived in one C. I lived above him in apartment two C. Um, <laughs> so, you know, we kind of know each other. Shoot, I mean, almost all our lives, and and all of us, right? So Jeff and I went to school together. Ed's uh, a few years younger than me. And I, I think quite a few, but um, no, maybe about six, eight years, maybe eight years, nine years younger than me. Um, and Jeff and I are the same age, so it's nice to to get, you know, to get together with friends. But what the, what I find the greatest part of that whole idea of the friendship is is a different dynamic, right? Because we still all keep in touch. Um, I mean, even we see each other, talk to each other and do the whole thing. And, and I always find that very, it's kind of a rarity because a lot of people, I mean, nowadays we're developing friends and friendships online, you know, which is great too. You know, you, you get to meet a, a lot of people over, a, you know, a short period of time. I mean, it's a, it's a good thing, right? We all know this, right? Friends and friendship and that's really what I'm talking about. And the idea is that could that be the idea of what's happening now? Um, making sure that you're keeping all your old friendships in a, in a style where, you, you know, you still have to be a little more personable. And the idea of developing new friends and friendships over this thing, you know, the Internet and how we're doing it is a great thing. It's a populist thing, you know, right? Because it's the idea of how many. And whereas this may be, it's a, it's definitely a distracting factor from what friends and friendships really are. So the idea is that I've made quite a few new friends online. But really, I mean, aside from having the television show, there are a lot of people that, you know, they want to know who you are. They're just out of, out of curiosity, right? But I have truly made some connections um, on the Internet and with people there where I've actually, you know, met them and, got, and, and seen them and, and know them. It's like a, a, a very different dynamic. Whereas, whereas now, I think people are more apt to, you know, want to, you know, it's kind of like that whole uh, grace period, right? So you want to be friends with somebody, eh, it's easy to click the button, you click the button and then you're friends with them. And it's like, what does that mean? So where does the friendship lie within those things, right? So I always say, you know, if it's a social media thing, it's, are you interacting with that purple person uh, or people in that manner on a regular basis? And are you trying to develop some kind of friendship out of it, which is great, which I think is a fantastic thing to do. And then the other part of that is your old friends or the friends you have been friends with for a long time. Um, I think the idea that that has to resonate with you, I think, rather than the idea of the, the, the new norm for friends, right, which is the click of the button. So the idea is that even though we, we all grew up together, we made it a point to stay friends and friendly and in contact with each other over however many years so that's the difference right so the difference is and i find that a little bit hard to you know to hold on to with when it comes to the internet and social media and all these things because it's a it's kind of a it has become a place where it's easy to say that you're on 
befriending somebody. And I don't know where that difference is, right? So before, whereas you, when you had time and relationships vested and invested in friendships, it's not so easy to just say goodbye or done or that's it. Now it is. Now it has that meaning, right? It's very easy for us to just say, nope, I'm done. And we all say it's that negativity. And I go, nope, it's, we're not giving it a shot. That's the truth. The truth is, is that I don't think we get, we're trying to give it as much. Uh, we're not processing the information of friendship anymore in, those, in the same manner. So that's what happens after a while. So the idea is that it becomes um, almost, you know, and I hate to say it, it's almost becomes disposable to the ideas, right? You know, like, because I have a few new friends that I have that I met through the internet and that I interact with on social media. But I make it a point to do that on a regular. I'm not, I'm not just, I'm not just saying that, hey, we click the button, we're friends or whatever. And I'm like, no, I'm, tr you know, and that's been my, my thing for this whole journey that I'm on. It's that developing this idea of being curious about people. And how are you curious about people if you're only spending three minutes every three months with them and watching either content or maybe a live feed or something like that? It's kind of like that idea is that. It, you can still develop friends and friendships on these platforms. The idea of staying in contact and, and really genuinely, you know, thinking about the person and saying, hey, listen, I, we became friends online or whatever the case may be. And maybe they do something or they have a hobby or something that they're interested in that they post content for. And then you follow it and you comment on it and you understand it and you try to see the things that they like and, and get involved and understand who they are rather than just oh that's great and we're just like and we're moving and we're moving and we're just trying to consume as much as we can and i say that's that's great right so the idea is that if you have somebody who has a lot large following on social media or a lot of friends or whatever the case may be a lot of people get drawn to that so they think that's the idea of popularity right um but in in contra it's I would say it's almost the opposite because the idea is that's great that there's a million people peeping at you and you can my idea is that you can make a few bucks on here but the idea is none of those people probably have a, a direct connection or feel connected to the person right because you couldn't ask somebody if their million followers all stood in front of you or whatever the can they're friends with, if they all stood in front of you and you asked them each one, uh, try to ask each person a question about that person that they're following that they say they're friends with, <laughs> what could they tell, what could they really and truly tell you about that person, right? Because a lot of us just, we just, we either getting part of that fad or that thing that's happening real quick, or we just want to be part of it. So we're not understanding what the magnitude means. And I think that's why things like this and having friends and friendship on these kind of platforms, uh, they become very tricky for people, especially people who don't understand what real, what the real friendship and what it really means to have friends. So that's why when I think about these things and, you know, and I'm going to, you know, roll this in. <laughs> I'm trying to get this stuff all kind of working out really well. So I'll show you, you know, because, you know, you'll see here, that's Jeff and that's Ed. That's DJ Pumpkin over there. And that's me in the middle. And I, I mean, I've kept in touch with these guys, you know, and it's kind of like that thing. And I make it a point to remember certain things, right? You know, like I did radio show and, and DJ Pumpkin is just, he lived downstairs from me. Like you understand, I know him, we know each other since we're children, all of us. So the idea is when, you, when I think of these friends and we're friends on social media as well, it's not like we're not, it's not like we, we're not, we're not following each other or friends with each other, not, we do that. And I think that's the difference, right? So the idea of the crossover between keeping friends and friendship and even if some of this means that it happens online um making sure that's still part of that genuineness of what the original friendship was that means a lot to me right so in other words um you become friends with somebody on here and 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 then all of a sudden you be, you know you physically get to meet them whatever and and it just it doesn't seem the same i i don't think there's a direct connection because the idea of the non-physical to the physical, I think distorts what we think about friendship. Um, 
and it's okay. You know, I guess, you know, we'll see how that plays out as, as this progresses, how, how the, um, how people seem to be friends further and further apart in distance wise, as far as that goes. And to me, like I said before, it's great. And I always applaud the idea of the internet and all these other things that are going on. It does help people keep in touch on a, on a much larger scale. But I'm just curious about how people really feel about people in person. It, it's kind of a different dynamic. It weighs a lot, you know? It just weighs a lot. It's much heavier to hold on to. And this way seems to be a lot easier to, to, let, it, to let it pass by or let things just haphazardly happen constantly, right? The whole idea of something's going viral. And what does that mean? You know, what does that mean that, uh, you know, 10 million eyes have seen it without understanding or processing the information? I'm not sure. I mean, I could tell you that the idea of friends uh, has grown on me with this and friendships have. Um, but I really have that real nostalgic feeling a lot of times when I think about certain things, you know, and Ed and I. We rode out on motorcycles to, to my friend Jeff and Tim, the Broom Brothers party. And it really did, it really did uh, fill in the gap in the years that we don't see each other constantly. But then when we do see each other, you know, it's, it's kind of like the idea, right? When you're growing up somewhere and you're friends with people, and even if you're friends with their older brothers or younger brothers or siblings or whatever and what have you, and then all of a sudden as people become you know, the playing field gets evened out as far as like, you know, wisdom and, and life experiences and all these things. And then finally to be, you know, on, on a motorcycle driving down a highway, you know, at 70, 80, 90 miles an hour with Eddie, who I see as a, a young kid still, for me is a delightful feeling. And those, those are the moments in friendships that I think about. And when I have the I and the opportunity to do these things with my friends that I grew up with, you know, and all of them, all my friends, the ones that we stay close together and still, you know, keep, 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 we keep ourselves connected, if that makes any sense to you, right? So the connection between friends and things like that happen. And if they if you stay connected with your friends and the people you meet, and even if it's online, it really does become something. The idea of people become something to you again, you know, in a different manner, in a different form. But it's still something. Friends and friendship are still things that you have to kind of, you have to feel feel good about them when you're doing them. You know, not because, you know, not because the, the popularity thing, not because of all that stuff, but because you genuinely feel uh, for somebody and you're still curious, right? Because... I think when people don't see each other for a while, right, we, we talk about that, right, out of sight, out of mind. And it really does happen that way. And, and of course, wait a minute. And you know I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go through some stuff today because today is actually my son's birthday. Uh, uh, happy birthday, Crystal. And it's, gr it's a great day. So today is, for me, is a good day. It's a good feeling day, of course. And then my birthday's in a few days from now. But the idea of when I talked about you know, like maybe two weeks ago about my son and I and him coming down to the shoot I was working on and, and blah, blah, blah. And to see him and to understand that, uh, uh, to picture myself at his age right now where I was and what I was doing and to understand now because he, we have developed a friendship along the way is that I, he understands as an adult the differences between things now. And I think that's the enlightenment period for both people right as parents or children or as friends you know spanning over a long period of time and watching people grow and and you know not so many words get older so the friends and the friendship and the correlation they change dynamic constantly between just friends and sometimes you know family and what have you because things change times change and that's you know, that's just the long and short of it. You, you know, nothing stays the same forever. And, and I think it's a good thing to stay connected, right? Friends, friendship, all that stuff. It just really, really resonates, right? I mean, come on. <laughs> we all have friends that we've done stuff with that we're like, man, I can't believe I did that. <laughs> you know, 
But and you know everybody's got that secret. <laughs> so you know there are certain friends you gotta stay friends with <laughs> because you know they send you to prison. <laughs> but no, I'm just joking. <laughs> but but the idea is that. You know, true friends and the idea of friends and friendship over a spanning over a period of time is because you have that genuine trust, that whole idea that, you know, no matter what, um, there are certain people that you can just never have to, wor have to worry about. Like you get on the phone, call somebody, talk to somebody, visit somebody. It's never an issue. Um, they're never too busy. They, they don't let obstructions or destructions get in the way right i mean that's just the long and short of it you know if if you know if you can't say certain things and do certain things with true friends then you know then it's high <laughs> my name's shannon it's crazy huh how's mom she's okay dad's working great a lot of weather outside <laughs> call me we'll do something okay <laughs> it never happens real friends you know like and called me he's like i'm going over to the party you come and i'm like yes i am and jeff and tim both you know were like hey we're having the, the 10 years they're doing this barbecue and 10 years i this is the first one no first one i mean but we still talk so i mean but my idea is this is that the friends and the friendships they have to they have to keep us connected they just do whether you're making them online or you're doing it still in a physical presence and keeping old friendships you know, together, connected, because it, it does mean stuff, you know, and I love that. I love, I love the fact that I was able to, you know, get out and just, get on, you know, like this was, this was from my, my best friend who passed away. And I, the idea of friends, and when the, the stuff like this happens, is, so that it's like you can't, you can't, you can't just let things run by. You know, like that. <laughs> you know, you have to, you have to kind of make these things happen. And had you know, my friends and my friendship over over the years had had not been so, had we not stayed connected as best we could, moments like that don't happen. They just don't. And you know, <laughs> listen to me. All you people out there, like, eh, hey, maybe I'll call him next week. I'm like, listen to me. Don't get the, don't get the goat. Do yourself a favor. You're thinking about a friend. Give him a call. Like, say what's up. Shoot him a text. Send him an email. Send him a picture. Like, I do that constantly. <laughs> Almost to the point where I'm getting annoying. <laughs> but, <laughs> hey, K Sarah, Sarah. Oh my God, who the hell cares? That's probably how most of my friends feel because I send them pictures of everything, videos. I don't even care. I'm like, hey, listen, I'm going live next week. Like, yo, I'm, uh, I'm at this thing doing that thing. And I'm like, yeah, but you can sneak away and watch it on your phone. <laughs> I'm like, come on, that's only an excuse. <laughs> but, you know, I mean, for me, those are kind of funny moments where I, I just... Even though they, they may get a little <laughs> annoyed at me, I still want to let them know that it's important for me to let them know I'm, I'm thinking about them. I'm saying hello. I'm letting you know I thought something was funny. I had a, saw an old picture. Somebody said something to me uh, you know, that was funny, that brought up a memory, and I just wanted to share it with you. you know? And that, that, to me, that's a, a, a wonderful, wonderful thing, right? To be sharing friendships and time like that, right? It just, it does. So listen to me. Leave some questions and comments below in the, in the comment section. Wait, what happened here? Um, we got to get that off the screen. What the heck? Hold on. There we go. Um, <laughs> these things happen, right? But so, you know, leave any questions and comments down below. I'm curious, right? So out of curiosity... What would you say? What would you say? <laughs> you should count all your friends one hand, two hands. <laughs> you need to take your socks and shoes off. But truly, 
what does friendship mean? What does it mean to you? Like, what do you, well, how do you feel about certain things? You know, it's, it's, you know, that's truly what uh, friendship's all about. I truly believe that, you know, that's the whole long and short of it. Listen to me, you know, you don't have to just watch this, right? You can go over there. <laughs> you see all those pl- podcasting platforms. I'm also on all those podcasting platforms. So if you don't want to watch this, if you're like, I'm tired of looking at this guy, <laughs> but I can deal with him, right? Like I said, in the car, maybe two, three exits, right? You're like, I got enough of him. I'm done deal. But you can go over there, right? Look, you go over there any of those podcasting platforms and you could listen to my podcast you know why because it's about everything and nothing (laughs) and today was about friends and friendship and that's what i got to say and i'd just love to say you know thank you everybody out there that's number one for you know being part of this thing constantly with me because i i'm so you know i'm i'm not gonna stop doing it oh hell no I'm not going to stop doing the podcast. I think that's a plane flying overhead. I'm not sure. But anyway, it's pretty. Oh, it must have been a. (laughs) That's loud. But anyway, friends, friendship. I don't know. Take them or leave them. You need them. It does. It, it, It creates a social connection between us human beings you know and i think the power of the internet and what's happening with that whole thing in social media because a lot of people can become friends now and my thing is like i said before not every one of your friends and friendships even if when you're creating them online a lot more are going to be genuine but just think about this right the internet and everything else is allowed us to be connected with so many people from so many places right so I don't know maybe that's a big fear (laughs) for you know governments and all these people are trying to restrict all these things people from saying things showing things talking about things maybe their fear is bigger than ours maybe that idea of total friendship between people i think maybe is the scary thing i think the idea of friends and friendship and having so many friends and being connected to so many people right due to the fact of the internet is kind of putting things i think for big (laughs) governments to understand that it truly is the power of the people that do move things in the direction they they need to go and i think us wanting to be friends and be closer with each other whether it's distance or age even nowadays right because come on we're all participating in this thing called the internet and being able to move information at such speeds and rates and become and let people you know we're basically tearing down bridges as we you know as this thing progresses right we can watch people immediately now live streaming and doing all these things in connection between myself where i am and somebody that may be across the planet so these things really do truly create friends and friendship over big you know spans of distance and time periods right because this is kind of an equalizer right this is a this is a um this is me now and whoever's watching it's whether the age 18 i say 18 and above, 18 and older is getting the same content and and the way we feel about each other whether i'm here or your next door neighbor this opens up the uh this opens up dialogue for people to talk about certain things and understand how other people and how other cultures and all this stuff you know is and how people are right so it's like when you see and you hear this one person did something you say well you can't encompass the entire place for that one person or that small group of people you have to take people just people in general for who they are and that's what friends and having friendships do and even if it's over distances is that we're closing the gap and i think as we get closer and closer as people to people person to person i think that's the biggest fear for certain organizations is that you know people truly being united and people understanding each other and understanding you know yeah you may not be exactly the same as me but you're still a person you still breathe air and and it's just like this thing we 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 don't have those you know those barriers anymore and i think that's the biggest problem the biggest problem is they're worried that all of us are going to say no we don't hate those 
people or don't want to do those things just because you tell us to do it. So that's another way that friends and friendship, the whole idea of it, you know, really does become such a great thing to have, you know, and a, and a great way to feel about people, right? Because if you automatically feel that way about somebody, even you only know them online or the internet wise, and you're already like, yo, that's a person, they're a normal person just like I am. So I can be friends with them. I can, you know, listen to them once in a while, or I can watch their content. It makes me laugh, or it makes me think, or, you know, it, it creates an emotion. And I feel a, a certain kind of connection to that person. And I think that's good. So you know how it works, folks. I, my time is up. I think I said just about everything I could say. I'm glad that we're all friends. I could tell you that right now. No joke, no joke. And get out there and make some friends. You know how I do, right? Every day is a good day. And if you give a smile, you gonna get a smile. And that's for sure. So give a bunch of them smiles out there. Make some friends. Go out there, follow me on all my social media. That's what's (laughs) up. (laughs) It's just a shameless plug there, folks. And I know you're subscribed, but in case you're not, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Channel the channel the channel make sure you subscribe to my channel it really does help and get your bell rung so you get notified when i put a video up on my channel folks and my god are you still talking not anymore folks i'm out of here love peace and bacon grease